And this is Destiny Wusu, a.k.a. Owawa, as everybody knows me. I'm here on set with DMV Style Society. I'm about to do a one-on-one -on -one with them. So make sure you support them and support me as well. What's up? This is your girl, Danae, DMV Style Society. We're right here with DMV's own Owawa, Destiny. Which one do you prefer to go by? Um, it really don't matter, but everyone kind of knows me as Owawa, so I'm cool with Owawa. All right, all right. Now, I know you just came from New York. You did, you were at Afropunk. You did a fashion shoot. How was that? Um, Afropunk is always fun. This is my second year there, so it was always good to see some old friends that I met last year. Um, it's surrounded by good vibes, good people, and it's just so different. You're not used to that, especially in the DMV, you know. Um, so, it was, once again, it was just good to be around beautiful people. Um, and then I was back in two weeks ago. I was had a shoot with a good, good photographer, great, um, the Shemayam. Um, I learned a lot from that shoot. Um, I got some great photos from that shoot, so I can start my portfolio with that. Um, I observed, you know, the models that are in agencies. I also met Eugenia Washington, which is a great model. She's from America Next Top Model. So it was a good experience overall. Okay, cool. So. You are really, really popular. Like you said, everybody knows you as Oh Wah Wah from IG. And it seems as though IG is really where you got your start, really where people became familiar with you. And so how do you, is that how you really got your start? Is that how you like to put yourself out there or you don't like people saying like you started from IG? Um, no, I don't have a problem with people saying that. Um, Instagram really got me where I'm at now. You know, I use Instagram as a good marketing tool for myself. Um, if you just use it right, anybody can get to where they want to be with, with social media um, itself. Um, I just network a lot. I use different tools. You know, sometimes I'll randomly do shout outs and just, you know, shout out all models, photographers, hairstylists, makeup, you know, makeup. Um, bloggers, you know, I just shout them out. You know, that just shows you that other people that doesn't know about you can find you on Instagram. So I just like to network and let people know who I am if they didn't know who I was before. Right. So if y'all need a shout out, y'all know who to go to because she's shouting them out. But um, also on Instagram, I know that. So how do you feel? Because on Instagram, it's like nowadays it seems like everybody's a model. Right. Everybody's got a photo shoot everybody's a cameraman so how do you feel about that do you do you knock it or is it just like it is what it is I mean I don't knock nobody but I just don't like people call me an Instagram model I'm not an Instagram model I'm far from that um, I am a model I'm not even I don't even want people to call me an aspiring model I'm a model you know I've gotten I've done so much to get to where I'm at now um, and when people call me Instagram model, it's kind of like disrespectful to me. You know, take a look at my work. Uh, you'll see that I'm far from that. You know, I don't just have book me, you know, my email address in my bio for no reason, you know. Um, but once again, I don't knock nobody's hustle. So I'm not going to say no much on that. Cool. So everybody, she's a real model. <laughs> She, she ain't on Instagram flexing. So everybody knows you from Instagram. You're actively on social media. Like you're one of the most active people I probably can think of on social media. But what are you like outside of social media? Like who is Owawa outside of social media? Or is it not Owawa? Is it Destiny outside of social media? Um, I'm, I'm goofy. Everyone knows they follow me. I'm goofy. I be kirking sometimes. I'm just like I, how I am on social media. I don't change, you know. If you met me, you can tell oh, I just want to have a good time and be surrounded by positive vibes, positive people. So if you see me, I'm very nice. I give people hugs. I have good conversation. I'm always like, if you see me at a club, I'm like, turn up, you know. I'm I'm really I'm really cool. I'm not bougie like you know some models come across as really bougie and stuff. I'm far from that. I'm I'm a really really cool genuine person. Right. Okay. So outside of IG, since you're the same. So, how, how are, outside of IG, so does Owawa have like a boyfriend? Does Owawa like to travel? Do you do you like to shop in your free time? Like, what are you doing outside of IG? Who do you like to spend your free time? Or like, how do you like to spend your free time? Who do you like to spend your free time with? Um, outside of IG, I'm very, very, I started getting really, really busy. So if I'm not at work, I'm shooting. But when I do have a free time, I like to just be around my friends, my close friends, you know. We'll have movie nights, you know, or we'll go to the club. Um, I don't have a boyfriend, so it's not like I can go chill with my boyfriend. But um, I like to travel, too. So, you know, I'm always in New York almost every two weeks. 
Um, then I'll be in LA for the first time. I'm so excited next month. Congratulations. Thank you. And I'm just trying to travel more. I'm trying to actually go to London, hopefully next year. Um, and I, I want to go to Dominican Republic in, in December. Yeah, girl. So um, I'm all about traveling. I really want to travel the world. Um, other than that, I like going bowling with some my photographer friends who started doing that like every Tuesday nights and stuff. Anything that deals with networking and meeting new people, I'm all for it. Cool beans. So y'all heard it. She don't got no bae. So, <laughs> but don't be trying to use her booking in her bio. Right. To, go smack. Yeah, her. don't don't do that. That's not what that's up there for. But going back to modeling, since you have made it so far, especially, I don't want to say especially from the DMV, but especially from an area where so many people are trying to pursue that field, what are some things that, some tips that you could provide to other people who really are trying to become a model or get to where you've gotten? Okay, um, first of all, I say don't give up. Don't give up. Like It's really hard being a model, and it's really hard being a model trying to compete with other models. You got to think to yourself, what sets me apart from these other models, you know? But you have to really work 110%, you know? You got to get yourself out there. Don't be don't be afraid. If you want to go ahead and send emails to photographers, do that. Reach out. Um, I always, you know, models, they DM me. They send me emails asking for tips. Um, I always tell them to go to Google, you know, just to see the what the regular standards of trying to do a casting or open call is, you know? Get some, get some Polaroids to start off. Then, you know, Instagram, once again, use that. Look for good photographers in your area. You know, try to get some good headshots. Headshots, you know, that's like, it all only takes one person, if one photographer, one picture to get you literally out there. One picture can go viral and get you set. You know, you just gotta really, really um, pick and watch what photographers you work with. Just because everyone's giving you, you know, shooting you for free doesn't mean you should just go ahead and shoot with everyone. Be picky, you know, check check their workout, not just on Instagram, do they have a website? You know, can they edit well? Everyone wants to be a photographer, but then when it comes down to editing and making yourself look clean, they can't do it. This is what I look at when I look at photographers, you know. I, I like to look, does it look like it could be in a magazine? Is it over photoshopped, you know? This is what I look into when I, when I work with people. And now I'm changing my way of my photography. I like more clean and natural looks now, so that's what I'm going for. Okay, cool. Um, I, that's really good, especially for everybody out there aspiring. Um, that's actually really big of you because, you know, a lot of people will start to gain that success and just be like, oh, no, I ain't, I'm not helping you. Like, you yeah. figure it out. You do you. I'm not I'm not like that. I'm all about, you know, giving advice. You know, I might not be able to respond to every email or every DM, but when I do have some downtime, you know, I go ahead and I email people back. I even give comments. I'll tell people, you know, if they comment, hop in my DM, you know, and I'll give you some pointers, but I'm not like that and I will never be like that I like to help people because when I got here people helped me you know my followers always tag me in model castings and when I had my you know competitions they always voted and helped me out you know um, when I did my recent shoot with Shamayam I raised $1,000 because of my supporters which I am so I'm so blessed to have supporters like that you know so I'm all about giving if, I, if you want some pointers I'm, I'm here to I'm here to help so just in general, being a model, because uh, that's such a hard to me, I think, like career path to try and choose or something to pursue just because it's so much judgment. What could you tell, like, what's Owala's biggest struggle being a model or about the modeling industry, trying to become a model? What was the, what's some of the biggest struggles that you had to uh, go through or overcome? Um, it's a lot. Modeling isn't no walk in the park, I can tell you that. Um, you know, when you try to be a model, want to be a model, you know, you're always trying to land in that big agency. You want to get signed with that big agency. But it's like, once again, what sets you apart from all these girls? And what's been my struggle is, for one, my height. You know, they like these tall girls. They like five, nine, six. I'm only five, eight. But thank to God, I have long legs, so I can use that in advantage. Then another the struggle for me is I have tattoos, and I have a lot of them. But, you know, I've heard from plenty of people, you're not going to make it, you're not going to be a model, you have too many tattoos, you're going to stick to urban modeling. But it's like, now looking back, it's like I just showed everyone out, because I have these photo shoots, and it's like the tattoos are not really, you know, there. And if you've really come down to it, they can always put makeup on it or airbrush it out. 
Um, those are my probably two my biggest struggles and like just um, it's just hard sometimes because for one it's not a lot of black African American models in the industry you know that I've realized and learned that it's kind of racist you know with with African American females especially dark ones it's not that much you know black females in modeling if you look at fashion, New York Fashion Week a Paris Fashion Week you see that token black girl and that's it you know and it's hard for me because when you see that token black girl they're always African most of the time and they have no hair like me so now it's like okay I look like the rest of them what sets me apart besides my haircut you know so that's what sometimes I struggle through but I always try to think about it you know don't compare yourself to these other models continue to work on yourself continue to show that you're different and people will see that and then on top of that I've been meeting some great great photographers that I thought I would never even work with so um, I've just been blessed. Like you know, you, I, I pray all the time. I continue to have faith, and I continue to just work hard. Okay. So is it is it just modeling? Is that all you want to do? You want to venture out? Maybe try acting? Do maybe you rap? You sing? Any anything that you want to do? But like once you get your modeling career down to where you in that comfortable zone, where it's like I'm comfortable. I got people calling me. What's next? Is it is it something next you want to try, out or you really just feel like modeling is is there for you? Well, modeling is modeling is like life to me. You know, I don't. You know, some people have backup plans, but I feel like when you have a backup plan, it kind of blocks you from your main focus of what you want to do. Because in the back of your head, you're like, well, if this doesn't work, I'll just go my backup plan. No, that's not that's not me. Modeling is what I'm going to do. Um, now, people always ask me, maybe you should start acting or, you know, try acting. Mm -hmm. I might think of trying to act maybe. Maybe when I get up there and modeling, I'll try to do a couple shows or something, be in a movie or something like that. But for now, it's, it's just straight, straight modeling. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Because you did tell me, you mentioned to me, you're going to L.A. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that, that that's acting central. Acting is, so, acting central. get... No, 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 I might get my big break. Y'all might see me on a movie soon. Lance might, Lance might put you in the movie. I might be in a series with him. You never know. See? So you got you to keep your networking game right, strong right. when you go out there. Yeah, you never know. So, then be stylish society. Of course, I'm going to ask you some fashion questions. Okay. So, DMV is... DMV ha is really opinionated when it comes to fashion. Some people love it. Some people like it. Some people think we're trendsetters. Some people think we're following the crowd. How do you feel just about DMV fashion? Um, honestly, DMV fashion, they're always late to me. They always, like New York, you know, will have a style. And we'll learn about a style, have the style a year later. You know, I feel like the DMV, they're just so late. I really love New York fashion. People in New York are so, so different. Like, the style and swag that they have, it's like they, they don't care at all. They wear whatever they want, they come up with whatever they want, they don't get judged. When it's a DMV, it's, another, it's, another, it's a whole other story. You come out with something, people always have something to talk about it. People always wanna, you know, throw shade to your name. People always wanna talk down on you. And this is one reason why the DMV never really prospers, because everyone's always has something negative to say. If, you know, once we become pop more positive, then maybe people will start looking at DMV like, oh, okay, you know, I, you know, I mess with the DMV. But right now, it's like people always hate on us. No one really messes with us. So, what's how, how would you describe your fashion? Like when you're not modeling, are you are you like the chill type of chick who just want to do like sweats and some chucks, or do you want to do it up? Um, my style varies. I'm very it it changes all the time. But lately, I've been very I like simplicity. You know, I don't like to do too much. I like solid, bold colors. So, you know, I'll wear, I've been wearing white a lot lately. So when I go out to the club or like little events, I like to wear cute chick outfits, you know, the cute long skirts, little cute tank top, you know, um, and then, you know, the, um, the nice pointed heels, very classy, simple. That's what I like to do. Um, and I like on my, you know, chill days, I might wear like what I'm wearing now, you know, some black jeans, tank top, cute, you know, um, jacket, maybe some pointy heels or some chill shoes. Very simple. I don't feel like I don't like to do too much, you know. Um, when I look at style, like I really like Kim Kardashian. Her style is very simple. She wears one color, and it looks so great on her. You know, it's very classy and sophisticated, and that's what I'm trying to go for. Okay. So with that being said, I'm gonna name two things, and out of the two things, you gonna tell me just which one would be you. Okay. Okay. So. Denim or leather? Leather. 
Dresses or sweatshirt? Dresses. Sneakers or heels? Heels. <laughs> all white, all black? All white. Okay, okay. See, and it, I'm all black. <laughs> I lied about that. I like denim better than leather. I lied. Denim better than leather? Yeah, I like denim. All right, I'm going to let you slide with that one. <laughs> I'm going to let you slide with that one. So, far as fashion, fashion and model uh, correlate so much because without fashion, you have no models. Would you ever consider like maybe starting a fashion line or making clothes or just branding, being a your name being branded to something? Um, not actually, but I do want to work with some great brands. You know, I want to start doing you know um, campaign ads with great you know designers because once you do a campaign ad, you're that's really good. Like for example, Bauman, love it. You know, with that spread with Rihanna, Naomi Campbell, and Iman. Love it. I would love, love, love to be in a campaign ad for him. Another one would be Tom Ford. I love Tom Ford's campaign ads. It's just so chic and so classy. And I love that. Things like those two designers are my favorites, and I would love to be a part of anything with them. Do a campaign, do a shoot, anything with them. That's what I'm I'm aiming for. Okay, so are you more designer? Or more like thrifting if I find something cute I'm gonna get it or you more like uh, I'm looking at Margellas I'm looking at Balmain and which which one are you? I'm really I'm not the materialistic type of female um, I'm thrifty I like thrift stores I like finding things because when you go to the thrift store you know for a fact no one's gonna have what you have on right. and I, I hate wearing the same thing anyone else has um, I'm not really materialistic, you know, all these name brands, they're very, they're very nice and I would love to wear them, but that's not in my range, you know, so um, until I get to that range, I just, I continue to, but if it looks cute, I'm wearing it. Right, so y'all heard that, dress according to your wage, <laughs> don't work at Burger King, trying to buy every single pair of Margiela's, but, uh, so, in the DMV, like you said, you mentioned earlier, there's so, it seems like it's so much hate. It's, you gotta go through so much hate just to like finally get loved, finally get people to actually sh show uh, their support for you. How do you feel about that? Cause I feel like from the get, people kind of showed you love from the get. People all, like always saw you being shot out on Instagram, always saw you retweeted like do you feel like you had to go through a lot of hate before people really start showing you some support honestly I'm I'm grateful and I'm blessed because I didn't have to go through hate that much you know there's a couple people that said oh you're not gonna make it but I was only a couple Mo I have a majority people supporting me you know um, and I, I like I said I always t I always thank them when I win competitions when I'm where I'm at I always thank my supporters um, but for people that have to go through hate like rappers and stuff they probably go through the most hate um, local rappers and stuff. Um, I mean, right now it's kind of gradually coming. People are showing more love. People are showing more support in the DMV, and it's slowly coming. But it, it, it needs to be. It needs to be more. You know. Um, but as for me, I'm just. I'm just. I guess I'm lucky. I don't know. Like I don't have no really hate towards me. People always show love. Even when I don't even ask for it. Sometimes people randomly shout me out or retweet me and say they love me. You know. And I'm just like, oh my god, that's. It's, sometimes I feel weird, I, you know, like, people come up to me and like, oh my god, are you a Wawa? Can I take a picture with you? And I, to me, I think I'm just a regular person, you know? And some people think of me as like some type of celebrity. I'm just like, wow, you know? I, I have effect on these people. People tell me that I inspire them and I love that. Like, I love to inspire people. It, it's, it's a great feeling when you inspire others. So I'm just truly grateful for everything. Right. I, I used to always say, you gotta inspire before you expire. So. That's always a good thing. Um, I know another, and then like touching on the rapper thing too, because I do feel like DMV just throws so much shade. So, for all the shade throwers, how, how do you, what would you say to all the shade throwers? You need to get a life. Like, you sit on Twitter all day. You go on Instagram and these rappers comments. For what? What is, what is, what is it gonna do for you? Nothing, you're at home. Don't you know about these people's lives? You know, you're so into these people's lives and they're getting money. I just don't understand it sometimes, like, especially on Twitter. Twitter is like the main, you know, where everyone rants and talks about you. And like, for example, Wale. I'm a big fan of Wale. But people in the DMV for some reason hate his guts, which is sad because DMV, cause Wale puts on for the DMV. He tries so hard to put on for the DMV and then the DMV don't show him love. 
that's what blows me. Like, I just don't get it. And it's like, now I'm like, if you don't put on for the DMV, I understand why. Because y'all don't show him love. Like, what's the hate? You're supposed to show love to the fair, you know, people that get out of here and make it. And they continuously make fun of him and go on him. And I'm just sitting here like, it, 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 it's annoying. And I can understand sometimes why Wale crooks on people. You know, I can understand it. It got to be annoying every time you tweet or whatever. People have something to say negative. And honestly, I feel like Wale has more negative people than supporters, which is which is sad. And majority from him is from his own area. So, speaking of rappers, I know uh, this might not still be current, but I know you used to have like your man crush was ASAP. Yes, <laughs> that's Bay. <laughs> that's that's Bay. <laughs> So could we say that that's one of like your favorite people that's in the scene that's into because he's into fashion, as everybody knows. I feel like he basically put on a big trend, as far as every like all rappers wearing designer. So would you consider him like your top person in the scene, fashion wise? Fashion wise, of course. I love Asa Rock, Asa Rocky's fashion wise. Like now, if you look at a couple boys, you know. They, they got their style from ASAP Rocky. You know, he has something different he, that he brought to the table. Um, I'm not really, like, I'm not the type to really be, like, head over heels over celebrities. But I really, like, I, that, I think ASAP Rocky's the only person that I'm, like, head over heels for. I'm like, oh, my God. And then I actually met him, and he's a really humble, cool dude. Like, ASAP Rocky's really, really cool. And um, I, I love what he's doing now. You know, he's been in the cut, but then he came out with it with Chanel, you know, Iman. And... Did that Vogue spread and killed it. So I'm like, okay, I see him. You know, some people have some negative things to say, like, oh, he's a model now, whatever. But I'ma always be a fan. That's like my my favorite always. See, you should have got up. You should have. You should have. ASAP Rocky, he be man, he be just playing. You know, he be faking. ASAP, ASAP. You need to you need to come to me, okay? You need to leave Chanel alone. It's like, no. you heard it. You heard it. But um, that's. Because I do think of ASAP as one of like my top people too. Um, who else would you consider? The, and they don't even have to be like rappers or anything. Who do you consider like some people you look at? These could be people you know, like homies too. Who do you consider to be like in your top list of fashionable people? Whether it be designer, they're thrifters. Um, I love Rihanna. She's probably like my number one. She every time she comes out, she looks. Fabulous. Whether it's even her, her chillest day, you know, she's a very fashionable person. When I go look for fashion, I go to Brianna. Like she, she knows what she's about, and she's, you know, she's at Paris Fashion Week. Um, she's very, she just slays every time. I love her style. I love it. And another one will be Naomi Campbell as well, my idol. Um, she's very simple as well. You know, she wears a lot of black, very chic, simple, classy. That's that's what I love. You don't have to do too much to look good. And that those are like my two that I always look for when it comes to fashion. Okay, cool. So basically, okay, everybody I believe has three things that they like are important to them when it comes to fashion. Like one of my, I always tell people I think like shoes are one of the most important things. Then I probably would go with like your accessories, accessorizing. Although I'm really light when it comes to accessories and. Yeah, I'm really light with stuff like that. So I always consider, especially like with shoes, I always feel like the white shoes can make anything look good. So what are the top three things that you feel like you have to have to complete your outfit and to, to make your outfit be like, oh, darn, what did she got on? Or like, she was killing them last night. What are the top three things you... For a female, heels. Heels, you gotta have the baddest heels. And they don't gotta be, you know, designer, but just some cute heels that stand out. You know, I, I love the sandal heels. I like the, po the pointy toe heels. Those are like my favorite. They, it gives you a very business, like sophisticated look. So it's all about the heels to me. Um, second would be, um, second, see I'm so simple, you know? It's, uh, That's how I, I'm really simple. I mean, I guess you would say accessories. Sometimes accessories look really cute. If you get a, sometimes all you need is a necklace, a bomb necklace and you're set, you know? Um, or just some simple earrings. Don't get too much. Get these big hoop earrings looking a little ghetto. Don't be doing too much. But, you know, accessorize, but don't do too much. Some people do a rack at the bangles and stuff. I'm not for that. And then the last thing, um, I don't know if it's considered fashion, but hair. Hair. Like, I swear, hair can 
change anybody's look. You know, um, keep keep it nice. No, whatever your hairstyle is, just keep it freshly nice, like me with my haircut. I I keep it shaped up all the time, very nice. You know, if you have hair like you, you know, keep it curled. You know, just just make sure that you maintain your hair because hair is a, a big thing you know you, your hair looks messed up your weave track showing that just totally messes up your whole 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 look and you could be pretty but if your hair is messed up it's like dang you know like they're gonna look at you like oh she a little basic she right. she rocking a ponytail again today <laughs> she I, I totally understand that one so um pretty much first of all if you want to give you a shout out for go ahead and looking out for DMV Stylish Society doing the interview. Um, last but not least, uh, anybody you want to give a shout out to, say thank you to, if you want to shout your Twitter, your Instagram, everybody already know it. But if you want to solidify it, you go ahead, let everybody know. You can, you can take the mic. Oh, I got the, I got the mic. You can take okay. the mic. Okay, so let's see. Um, once again, if you do not follow me um, on Instagram, I'm Owawa, O-H-W-A-W-A. Twitter's the same thing, just add an underscore after it. Um, if you're trying to book me, uh, my email is destiny, D-S-C-I-N-Y-A, O-W-U-S-U o -W -U -S -U at gmail.com. Um, I want to give a shout out to all my supporters. You know, I love y'all. Y'all always there for me. I can't thank you enough for how much support y'all been showing me. I also want to shout out a couple of photographers that have been helping me, guiding me since I've started. I want to shout out Michael, Michael J Photography. I want to shout out Arantes. I want to shout out Sal, C. Dope. I want to shout out David, um, Kid Chaos. I uh, want to shout out Dex. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I feel like I'm about to miss somebody. Um, and. It's so many people. I know I'm gonna forget. Y'all gonna scream at me, but you know, those are a couple people that they really, really give me advice and tell me to keep pushing. So I, but everyone, I seriously just, I appreciate everyone, and I, and I love y'all. All right, cool. So y'all heard it here first. DMV style. Is this like your first one-on-one -on -one interview? It is. Like, oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. The home team first interview with a Wawa. So y'all make sure y'all go support her. She's really nice. She's really down to earth. DMV Stylish Society, we wrapping up another one. Till next time.